Hello, my name is Aaron Atkar and I'm an analyst here at Edison. And today we're joined by Paul Rennie, CEO and co-founder of Paradigm Biopharma. Thanks for joining, Paul. Um, so to get started, could you perhaps share some numbers to provide um, a better understanding of the potential opportunity in osteoarthritis? Yeah, thanks, Aaron. And look, the opportunity for osteoarthritis and the treatment thereof is enormous. It, it is a, a massive indication affecting somewhere between 10 and 15 percent of the general population. Um, prevalence of osteoarthritis has increased by 113 percent. Uh, since 1990, when there were 247 million people worldwide diagnosed with the disease, now up to 530 million in 2019. So it's a rapidly growing market. Uh, I should also add that uh, around 80% of uh, people with osteoarthritis are dissatisfied with their current medications. Um, there are uh, issues with uh, current medications, whether they be side effects or whether they be um, just unable to really um, address the significant symptoms of, of pain and, and joint dysfunction, but there's a lot of dissatis dissatisfaction. So therefore, not only is it a massive market, it's also a massive market opportunity for a company that can bring safe and effective medications to this group of uh, patients who desperately need new drugs in this area. Thank you. Uh, congratulations on recently completing recruitment for stage one of the Para OA002 phase three trial for osteoarthritis. Um, could you provide an overview of the study and the upcoming milestones that will lead to your new drug application with the FDA? Yes, thanks, Aaron. So um, just to clarify, Para002 is a pivotal phase three clinical trial, and it's split into two stages. The first stage looking to identify the optimal dose um, this is uh, a question that was asked by the FDA, and we've responded with this two-stage adaptive design pivotal phase three clinical study. Um, the first stage, as I mentioned, is to identify the optimal dose. Um, recruitment for that stage is now finished, so that was a major milestone for the company. And once the optimal dose has been determined, we go into the second stage of the pivotal phase three clinical trial, which is looking at the safety and efficacy of IPPS in around 470 subjects. And at the same time, we will commence a second phase three clinical trial, which is known as the confirmatory study. So we have lots of studies ongoing, and we will obviously be um, reporting out news to shareholders as we progress through uh, the second stage of PARA002 and the commencement of PARA003. Thank you, Paul. So the potential to maximize the impact of IPPS by demonstrating a disease modifying profile in the PARA-008 phase two trials, very exciting for Paradigm, and the six months readouts were particularly encouraging. What will be the most important outcomes to the 12 month data? And what do you believe the FDA and EMA will need to see for a disease modifying indication label? Thanks, Aaron. And um, yes, we saw significant uh, uh, evidence of disease modification in PARA-008 at the six month time point, as you mentioned. So those subjects are now going to be re-evaluated uh, at the 12 month time point. And what we're looking at in particular is the clinical outcomes uh, being pain and improvement in function at 12 months to give us and, and the agency some indication that the duration of the effect uh, is persistent for 12 months. In, in terms of um, what the FDA and the EMA will expect for disease modification, that is the subject of a meeting that we have planned with the FDA in early 2024 calendar year. What we'll be asking them is based on our data, what else do we need to be able to demonstrate to be able to uh, have the agencies agree that this particular drug is having a disease modifying effect? And we won't know that uh, information until uh, early 2024, but obviously we'll advise the market when we get that uh, information. Thanks. So we recognize that outside of osteoarthritis, you're also focused on the development of IPPS for other indications, such as MPS types one and six. Could you summarize your current ongoing activities in this space? Certainly. Thanks, Aaron. So uh, MPS is a rare genetic disorder. Um, sufferers with, of MPS uh, lack certain enzymes to break down complex carbohydrates, and that leads to quite a large 
uh, accumulation of uh, glycoso aminoglycans or GAGs in various tissues and organs in the body that um, affects the health of these subjects. So we are looking at um, IPPS and its ability to be able to reduce pain and improve joint function in subjects with MPS. Um, Paradigm recently concluded an MPS1 study where we um, reported the primary and secondary endpoints at 73 weeks. And we saw meaningful improvements in pain, joint function, activities of daily living, and overall improvement in quality of life. Uh, also, we saw a reduction in the urinary gags, um, which I mentioned previously, and that's a very good outcome for these NPS patients. In addition to that NPS1 study, which is now complete and being written up for uh, publication, uh, Paradigm has just finished recruitment into a phase two study of NPS6 in Brazil. Dr. Roberto Giuliani, as our principal investigator, has conducted a placebo-controlled, double-blind, randomized 24-week phase two study. Uh, Paradigm's regulatory team is currently planning for discussions with the Brazilian regulatory agency, Andisa, on the possibility of provisional registration under the rare disease expedited pathway, should the phase two results be successful. And this will allow us to, um, in combination with a commercial partner, start the commercialization of IPPS for MPS type six in Brazil. Excellent, thank you, Paul. Uh, and finally, uh, the period 2023 to 2025 is looking to be particularly active for Paradigm. Uh, what do you believe are the most important near-term catalysts for investors to look out for? Certainly. Um, so as we just discussed, I think one of the key aspects will be what is the 12 month pain and function data from the 008 study? Uh, and that will be coming out at the end of this quarter, Q3 calendar year 2023. Um, in early 2024, we'll have um, announcements around the dose selection. So we will know what is the optimal dose that we're taking into the pivotal study and the confirmatory study. And we will obviously, as we also just discussed, have further details around what would be required from a disease modifying perspective from the FDA and the EMA. We also have um, a, a number of other data sets that will be coming out uh, later this year, which relates to a second program that Paradigm is running in the ultra rare disease of mucopolysaccharidosis. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for joining us today, Paul. Um, if our viewers would like to learn more about Paradigm, please refer to the Edison website. Thanks again. Yeah.